welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor rangarao karanam back in this video we would be talking about spring initializer what is spring initializer and where can you use it let's go to the url start.spring.io Spring Initializer is a great way of creating Spring or Spring Boot projects. Let's say I would want to create a new project. I would want to create a web project. I want to use Spring MVC and I would want to use JPA as well. I'll type in JPA in here and press enter. Oops, let's start from fresh. Let's remove these dependencies. Let's type in web and I would want to use JPA as well in that project. And I would want to have dev tools which will help me to prevent me from restarting the application to pick up each change. And then all that I need to do is go and click generate project and I would have a Maven project using all these dependencies ready. That's what Spring Boot Initializer allows us to do. The Spring Initializer is a great place to create new projects. One of the things about Spring Initializer is it supports a wide range of dependencies. Just switch to the full version in here and you'd be able to see all the dependencies that it supports. It has a wide range of projects that you can create, starting from the core Spring projects, starting from security, session, cache, validation, JTA, and stuff. You can create web projects, reactive projects, REST repositories, Hathios projects. You can create web services, JAXRS projects as well. You can create a wide range of integrations with SQL. So if you want to integrate with MySQL, you can check MySQL in. If you want to talk to SQL Server, you have the dependency in here as well. It has support for integration, so Spring integration. If you want to talk to RabbitMQ, if you want to talk to Kafka, if you want to use JMS. Wide range of integration with NoSQL as well. Redis, MongoDB, Elasticsearch, Cassandra. The core features of the cloud, cloud security, cloud OAuth 2 and other cloud features, cloud configuration, Spring Cloud Config Server, cloud discovery. You have Eureka, Zookeeper, Cancel, and you have cloud routing, Zool, Gateway, Ribbon, Fain. We have circuit breakers, Hystrix, the dashboard, Turbine, and tracing as well. So you can enable Zipkin Client. You can have Spring Cloud Sloth to enable distributed tracing. You have integration with AWS integration with Google Cloud, Azure, and various operations related stuff. So there are a wide range of dependencies that Spring Initializer provides and it helps you to create a wide range of projects. The important things with Spring Initializer is you need to choose either Maven or Gradle. So whichever build tool you are familiar with, then you'd choose the version of Spring Boot and you would add all the dependencies that you'd want, download the project and import it into Eclipse and run it. That's very very easy so why do you use spring initializer because it's awesome and it's a really a simple way to create spring Boot projects it supports more than 50 actually more than 100 different frameworks in 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like udemy safari online and pact we have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months the question is what do you want to learn next we are building solutions to help programmers at all levels you can learn programming with our awesome courses on java python and javascript you can learn full stack development with rest apis and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like spring boot node.js react angular and spring cloud we have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.